In this video, I'll show you how to do some sort of a uh, theming changes within Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now, there are limited things which you can uh, change within Dynamics 365 Business Central from a UI perspective. Now, the if you see this top bar over here, you can change the logo. You can change the, uh, the color within this top bar. So now currently it is dark blue, so you can make a change to that. Uh, you can change the logo. Uh, and also there is a uh, company badge which you can uh, change uh, and also there is like a company icon so just to show first with the top bar how do you make a change so what you need to do is like you need to navigate to microsoft 365 admin center so i'll navigate to microsoft 365 admin center and from there i'll make a change now from a business central perspective if you click on this setting now uh, you can also navigate to admin center, but this admin center is Dynamics 365 Business Central Admin Center. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, this will take you to Dynamics 365 Business Admin Center, but I'm talking about Microsoft 365 Admin Center because any change you make on Microsoft 365 Admin Center, now as you see the bar over here, this is reflective within Dynamics 365 Business Central as well. So. Uh, let's go to click on show all settings and from here navigate to org settings now from here you can go into organization profile and from here you can change the custom theme so if i click on custom themes over here i have an option to add a theme okay or make a change to the existing default theme i can edit or delete a default theme so if i click on this default theme there are a couple of options it says prevent users from overriding their theme. So I have an option to take that and then none of the users will be able to change that theme. It will only be whatever the organization admin sets that for that user. There's an option to show users display name. So I can remove that option also. Now, why? what is this display name? This is the name which is shown over here. Uh, if we go to Dynamics 365 Business Central, you'll see this Kirish pull the name listed over here. Now, let me remove this, okay? So I don't want the user's display name to be shown. Also, if I go into logos, I can upload a new logo or I can point it to a specific URL, okay? So I can upload a new logo. Now, I have this logo defined over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upload a new logo. So let me go into downloads and let me pick up this image, okay? So once I put this image, this is a different image than what it is uh, and also i can put an alternate logo i can uh, specify when users click the logo what should happen and from a color perspective this is a dark blue color so there is a navigation bar color this is a background color of the top navigation bar text and icon color and accent color now for here i will pick navigation bar color uh, now if i pick say some color say let me pick up say orange color okay so this is an orange color and i'll click on save so what we have done we have made the changes in the color and the logo now once you choose the color it will also show you it doesn't meet the minimum color contrast ratio of 4.5 to 1 okay now this is this looks good it meets the contrast ratio but then this one doesn't meet the contrast ratio so you get a choice you get an option uh, depending on your organization's theming color you can decide what color you want now just for demonstration purpose i'll pick up this color uh, and i'll click on save now the moment you make changes in microsoft 365 admin center the change will not be reflected immediately but then if you do a hard refresh then that bar color changes along with the organization logo now, once you click on that organization logo, you can configure the hyperlink as well. But then now let's switch back to Dynamics 365 Business Central and again, refresh the screen. Now, once you refresh the screen, uh, it might take some time, uh, but then now it is, uh, as you have seen over here, like the logo has been changed, the bar color has been changed. Okay, so these are the things which you can make changes in Dynamics 365 Business Central from a theme perspective. Now, there are other things like, as you see over here, this is called as a batch. So this is not available by default. So in order for that to appear, what you need to do is you click on settings, click on company information. And then from here, there is a section called as company batch. Now, this is coming in this color, like a kind of a bluish color. Uh, 
what I will do is like a light green color, sorry. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is like, I'll make it red, okay? So I can make that change over here. Uh, company badge is custom, company badge style is red, and I can even make the change in the text. So let me put steals, okay? So there's a six character limit, so you cannot put beyond six characters. So I'll just click on steals, and then just it's automatically saved. You click outside, and the screen will refresh, and then all the changes like the the batch in red color appears over here right so so what we have done we have changed the logo we have changed the color we have changed the batch color now the other thing what you can do from a company perspective in order to identify company you can navigate to the company information as we did for the badges and there is an option to change the picture of the company so maybe this is the by default Kronos company logo which appears i can go ahead and I can change it. So I can browse and let me pick up some image. Maybe let's pick flag of Norway. Oh, and then click on open. And then this picture is now saved, right? So this is how you basically change the picture for a company. So these are some of the things which you can change in Dynamics 365 Business Center. Not a whole lot you can make a change on. Uh, but uh, this is uh, from a UI perspective. This is the first thing that comes to mind, the top bar, the navigation uh, for the company uh, and also uh, the logo which appears on the top bar. So that's it, folks. This is all about the customization from a UI perspective within Dynamics 365 Business Central. Thanks for watching.